Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the palm heel strikes for self-defense. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna do is she is gonna start out in the best self-defense stance. Okay, remember that's that non-confrontational kind of stance. Now, from right here, she's gonna use a palm heel strike. Her hands are already open. And I hear some people talk about, you know, oh, palm heel strikes, that's a really traditional martial arts kind of thing. Actually, it's really not. Um, you know, really, actually, I see a lot of reality-based guys using the palm heel strike. Actually, we are reality-based people that really believe in the palm hill strike. So the idea that it is just a traditional martial arts thing is not really true. All right, the main thing that we need to remember with the palm hill strike is you're gonna use this part of the hand to hit with. So not under here and not way up here. Up here, there's a lot of cushion. Right here, it is super hard and lined up with your forearm very, very well. So she's gonna pull, keep those fingers back and drive that hand. Where would you wanna actually strike? The nose. The nose, exactly. We wanna hit the nose, why? Is it because that the nose is going to break off, drive up in the brain and kill them? No, that is called an urban legend. It is not a real thing, okay? I think somebody said at one point in time, when the study was done, and I, that may be even wrong, but we do know that it's not gonna just drive up into the nose. But somebody did say at one point that if you could bench 600 pounds, then it was possible that it could happen. There's not many people in this world that can bench 600 pounds, so I don't think you need to worry about that. Can we bring Bob out? We can bring Bob out. Okay. not real. <laughs> All right, so as Kylie is standing here in that self-defense stance, number one, she would never want to allow him to get this close to her, okay? But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a little more realistic, okay? That gives us a little more realistic type of distance. And the way I wanna do this is I'm gonna like push in, like he is like gonna come at her. And what she wants to do at that point in time, it's gonna be a little hard just to kind of like stiff arm them if they come in on you really fast. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna drive that palm hill strike right into the nose as fast as possible. <laughs> so I wanted to do it at a time when she didn't really expect it. I ended up hitting the face instead of the nose because it kind of came off this way. Yeah. Okay, okay. maybe I'll push directly and. All right, so what is she wanting to do? She wants to make sure that her hips turn and she gets her full body behind it, okay? At the present moment, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. At this present moment, she's not taking it seriously like it's real, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna ask you to, to in the, be in the moment for a moment and take it seriously and be super mean like you would in reality because you're kind of being playful a little bit I understand. We're in a, you know, we're in the school with the lights on us, and there's Bob standing in front of you, not a real person. But I don't want to get Palm Hill striked in the nose. All right, so we're gonna be right here. She's gonna be mean this time, like she would in reality. Gonna take it kind of serious. Okay, I want you to start with kind of like verbal diffusing a little bit, trying to get them to back up. You know, in a situation like this though, she is a teenage girl. Is she gonna be like, oh man, let's let's talk about this. We don't we don't need to fight. That's not the goal. Her, for her, verbal diffusing against a grown man is gonna be presenting herself as a very difficult target. We'll actually do a video on this soon. Uh, we've done videos on this a long time ago, uh, but like, I don't even know that was probably on a completely different platform. So we're gonna do some more videos on that soon. How should she as a teenage girl diffuse and verbally stop 
a grown man that's presenting herself as a very strong target. So she's gonna be like, stop, back up, you know, all these kind of things. Maybe say they're not their parent, although as a teenage girl that may, eh, I don't know, may or not be a great idea, but it can be, okay? So maybe, we'll see. So at this point, he's gonna, at some point, I'm gonna let her know when, I'm gonna push me in, push me in. Okay, in the middle of her trying to verbally talk him down. All right, are you ready? Okay. Hey, stop, back up, don't get any closer. Stop, I don't know you. Ah! Okay. So, it's a little bit tiring? Oh, man. Yeah, so you get tired of striking really fast, even for just like three to five seconds. It can really wear you out in a situation like that where you start throwing a little bit of stress on. I like that drill because it's great for reality. You know, it actually kind of stresses you just a little bit, gives you that, you know, reality of striking something, uh, a human analog like Bob. Um, so, yeah, great, great thing. You can find all kinds of tools like Bob available out there. Uh, I will see if we can't even link a few into the description for you guys. Yeah. All right, be sure to take these skills and actually practice them. Practice them in tandem with that self-defense stance that we talked about before. So actually work on them. Find something that you can hit. You can get a glove, you can get a pad, you can get something, but a human analog like Bob is best. I'm not gonna lie, it's the best thing. Something like that, Bob, you can do groin kicks, you can do everything on there. So it's a great way to practice those striking type skills. And if you have a partner that can stand behind Bob and shove him at you at times, it's kind of fun for them too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification. That way you get alerted every time we update a video or upload. See you next one, guys. See you. All right, be sure to take these seals and actually practice. Seals? seals. Take the seals. <laughs>